Israel has retaken control of its territory after the bloody raid by Hamas fighters, just as the fights intensify and the death count rises. And that is our top story at 10. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I'm Karen Drew, in for Kimberly Gill. And I'm Demond Fernandez, in for Devin Skilligan. Here's what we know tonight. More than 1,500 people are dead after Hamas attacked Israel over the weekend. At least 900 people are dead in Israel. And according to the military, 687 people in Gaza and the West Bank. President Joe Biden says 11 Americans have also been killed, and it's likely that some may be among the kidnapped. The White House says President Biden will deliver remarks on the conflict in Israel tomorrow around 1 p.m. Meanwhile, here in Metro Detroit, a crowd of thousands turned out tonight in Southfield, including Governor Whitmer and other elected leaders. They're all pledging support to the Jewish people and support for Israel. Mara McDonald live in Southfield for us tonight. Mara, an emergency campaign for Israel has already raised more than a million dollars. That's right, Karen. And, you know, the president of the Jewish Federation told all those who came to Shari Zedek tonight that what this is is not a call to arms, but it is a call to action. Let me show you. Thousands filled Congregation Shari Zedek as Metro Detroit's Jewish community was updated by the Jewish Federation on actions being taken. I'm very humbled to announce that our Jewish community here in Detroit, our small but mighty Jewish community, has raised over a million and a half dollars in the last 24 hours. The attack on Israel is very personal for many here. Marjorie Klausner's son is finishing his volunteer service in the Israeli Defense Forces as we speak. The very, very first things he wanted to tell us, he was okay, he was safe, he loved us. This was also an opportunity for the Jewish community to see who among our elected leaders stands with Israel. After this tweet over the weekend out of Governor Whitmer, which was roundly castigated for a failure to acknowledge the slaughter of civilians in their homes, a music festival, or just on the street, the governor stood at Shari Zedek tonight and made her intentions clear. We stand with Israel. And Israel has a right to defend itself. Senator Gary Peters, who was greeted on stage with a lone man yelling his anger over $6 billion by the U.S. government to Iran. $6 billion to Iran. Pay for it. Pledged his support to Israel. We will stand in solidarity and do whatever we can to support the Israeli people and their right to defend themselves against terror. However, however long it takes, we will be there. Back here alive, a number of law enforcement agencies across Metro Detroit say that they are stepping up patrols around Jewish synagogues as well as Jewish schools in the interim. We're live in Southfield tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Mara.